Hey everyone, we're Eamon and Beck, and this is our cabin in the woods. This cabin was originally built in the 70s and sits on three acres of land with nearly 600 feet of waterfront shoreline. After many years of full-time van life, the pandemic brought us here to the Canadian wilderness. Come on in, we'll give you a tour. We've done a lot of updates and renos and work and hammering. <laughs> DIY stuff. This is our doggo, so he doesn't like the camera. A good boy, say hi. Five minutes away, baby. Eamon's been most excited about this property. He just if told me he has know. some nervous poops. <laughs> home sweet home. I'm so nervous. Are you nervous? When we first moved here three years ago, there was no curb appeal whatsoever. So I'm very proud of our two garden beds on either side of the stairs here. And this awesome new pathway we just created with grass we grew ourselves. <laughs> We're pretty proud of the grass. Yeah. These stairs and this deck actually didn't exist either. So this has become our main entryway into the cabin. This room was pretty scary when we arrived. It yeah. was all boarded up. <laughs> it was not very pretty. This has always been Oso's cave. So he was quite pissed when we started the transformation. Did you guys just steal him a couch? Oso, <laughs> get off. No, 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 you don't. <laughs> Uh, no, no, no. Hi, buddy. You want a treat? Come here. Come here. Underneath. Get off. Oh, so. There we go. Over the years, this space has been a junk room and then a makeshift gym, but still a junk room. Eamon spent a lot of time properly insulating the space and adding such unique elements to make it an amazing functional gym. Three. That must be why you have such big muscles. Four. Oh, these are extra gravity weights. Oh, sure. Uh, we wanted to keep everything off the floor so we could roll out a yoga mat and have more of a versatile space. So we made a little weight wall. No matter how fit you get, it doesn't change you, bro. <laughs> and what is this? Like, literally, have you ever used that in your life? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. Nice. This is also Oso's bedroom. He loves to sleep out here in the cold. Oso, what's in here? Oh. Good boy, honey. Excuse me. Up here we made a little loft. And yeah, it just collects a lot of junk for now. But I think the kiddos one day will love hanging out up here. And we have had someone sleep up there one time. All right, now we'll go to my favorite room. The room where you live, living room. <laughs> this room took on one of the biggest transformations. When we moved in, there were just four tiny windows along this wall. And the feng shui was a little off because you had the fireplace on this side and the couch on that side and your kind of energy is towards the fireplace when it should be towards the lake. So we moved the fireplace into this corner and although it's not as centralized, it's quite nice because the fire gets ripping hot, so we just vent it into the porch. We had the idea to make a stainless steel tray, and that works great because you don't stub your foot, and when you're not using it, you can push furniture onto that corner. When we first moved in, we only had the fireplace for heat, but after one long, wood-heavy winter, we decided to get a furnace and put in ductwork. Turn off the heat. It's off. But we still use the fireplace once in a while. It's a vibe. It's a vibe for sure. This whole wall, we just want glass. So we basically got rid of the wall and put in as much glass as humanly possible and it's still a wow factor. Eamon and I love to host and this room has been the space where we've had our cozy coffee mornings with 10, 12 people. So seating was really important. We've got the swing chair, the swivel chairs, which allow you to see the view or turn into everybody else. And because we love hosting, we've turned this place from a two bedroom cabin into a four bedroom cabin. The basement used to be just storage and trash and dungy and it smelled like rat poop. Hello, sir. You wanna come inside my clubhouse? But now, you lift this up. Come on. Are you what? gonna fit down there? <laughs> I don't know where to go. Woo! I still fit, which is great. Alrighty, welcome to the presidential suite. The only king size bed. 
and the absolute best view. Not only do we have the biggest bed, we have the biggest space. So you can have like full on dance parties in here and you have an ensuite setup. Sink, you can get ready down here, brush your teeth, wash your face, all in the comfort of your own space. And check this out guys, your own ensuite toilet. Give it a flush, prove it. I actually have to pee, so that'd be good timing for me. Okay, go pee and then flush. <laughs> Us pregnant people always peeing. Oh! What was that? I, that wasn't me, that was the toilet. Uh-huh. No, it was. Uh-huh. She's feisty, but yeah, that works. In case you guys are wondering, the rest of this space behind this little divider is just all the utilities. So we've got our water heater, water softener, furnace, storage, junk, junk, more junk. You can also make this a workcation if you'd like. We have a full on standing desk and the view from standing is unbelievable. I actually really miss the standing desk upstairs. Oh, she really stands. You don't have to use the hatch to come down. There is a door right here that leads to outside, but if it's raining or snowing or it's just late at night and you don't want to go around the house, the hatch is your best friend. So this space started as just a quick job. Eamon thought he could spend a week fixing it up, but once Eamon got in there and realized what a mess the insulation was and what was growing in the roof. Oh my God. I don't know, it's just such a beloved space. Good job on the reno, babe. If you haven't seen that video, check it out here. Yeah, I don't know if I'm I so that. out of breath. I'm gonna need a hand up here. Come on, lady. To the primary. We're not really gonna do much to this other than paint and add a ceiling to it. She's tiny, but she's mighty. She's Aww, really she's tiny. She's so cute Hold though. That. She has the best energy in this room. Oh, it's a stinky boy wants in. Come on, Oso. Hi, baby. Oso, come on. Do you like the bedroom? Yeah. I would definitely say we've made the most of the space we have. We have lots of shelving, which just really looks cool. Um, <laughs> yeah. We have our side lights, which we both really like if, you know, one of us is reading. <laughs> Since when do you read? One of us is reading. <laughs> um, and then we've got these polo drawers, which are cool. And they keep a lot of Beck's bathing suits. Are these all your bathing suits? Yeah, but none of them fit me anymore. We have three different options when it comes to security. Number one, the big fella. That's our boy. Give him a growl, Oso. <sighs> number two is we have cameras all over the property. But number three, <laughs> taking names and cracking skulls. So we're feeling pretty secure out here. And I know that we came from living in a van for like three to six years, but sharing only this tiny wardrobe for two people and all seasons of clothing, I'm pretty impressed. Should we open the drawers and show you the true disaster? Babe, I didn't realize we were going to be opening up all our drawers. Yep. I think <laughs> this is relatable. As you can see, staying organized <laughs> is really important to us. I've got everything color coordinated, so I've got my whites here. Going into blues, pinks. <laughs> Big. Sliding door. Yeah, so it goes right out to the deck, which will be amazing. There'll be a door that I can come out here and enjoy the view. Probably one of the main reasons we don't move to another bedroom is because we love having access to the outdoors. Come on up. And our bedroom shares a wall with the other original bedroom which has always been a guest bedroom, but has recently been turned into a nursery. Come on in. So even though we haven't become parents yet, we figure sharing a wall will be really helpful because we'll know when baby girl's awake and needs our attention. This summer, we took this space from just being a bedroom and we made it multifunctional. Stop it! Yeah, yeah. So most of the summer it's been set up like this, which is what we call our bedroom setup. But.
we created a Murphy bed. So it's as easy as tucking in the legs and it's on hydraulics, so it's super simple. Hydraulics. <laughs> oh, is it not hydraulics? No. What's the word I'm looking for? Struts, gas struts. Yeah, it's on gas struts, so makes it super simple to tuck that baby away. And then we have space for if we want to bring the rocking chair in here, a crib, a tiny crib, because as we know, Shut the front door. This nursery has been enjoyable. <laughs> dance party. Dance party, dance party, dance party, yay, yay, yay. Really test. I think I'm, I win. It's also a pretty convenient location for the nursery because when you're done feeding, bathing, crying, changing, <laughs> you need a snack, so we're in the kitchen. <laughs> So doing a DIY kitchen, there's a lot of benefits because you can really take the time to perfect it, although it's extremely frustrating. I don't get it. I Now I'm just, I'm losing my mind. This is bananas! <laughs> Probably will never do another Ikea kitchen. <laughs> but something simple like this was pretty easy to install and we used it every single day. Just so you have hot water to fill up pots. It's I know, luxury, but it's nice. I'd recommend getting one. Boom. I love having a tiny kitchen because when we're doing a lot of cooking, everything is basically in hand's reach. So you need something for the fridge, you need some spices, you need the water. You don't really have to move. You just got everything going right here. Okay. You want to see the fridge? No, you can't show them the fridge. Oh! Got the AG, got the Cocoa Whip. Last one? But yeah, we eat a lot of tofu. <laughs> you got ice? <laughs> I don't know where this tour is going. My personal highlight of the fridge and the kitchen space is all of our Polaroids. Whenever we have a group of people that come together at the cabin, we try to take a Polaroid. We're running out of room, mate. I know. While Beck's over here, we got the vacuum storage with the big boy V10, the little guy. Little guy sucks, wouldn't recommend him. <laughs> Never use that. There's a lot to love about the kitchen space, but there's two things I would not recommend. Number one being this Ikea countertop. Garbage, you need to be so militant with your water. There's mold growing everywhere. We're gonna have to change it as this out. And also this farmhouse sink. Trash. Uh, <laughs> breaks tons of dishes, it's always dirty. And then this faucet I didn't set far back, so I've got this stupid drip tray thing. We're always, we're, I'm like a water fanatic. Wash, 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 you wanna turn off the sink? Drip. Wash, 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 turn off the sink? Drip. Maybe elbow it. Wash off. Other than that, I love it. Moving on to the pride and joy of the whole house. You ready for it? The garbage and recycling area. Oh my god, don't even look over there! This is our coffee and tea corner. If you're not familiar, Eamon and I own a company called Habit. So we have six blends of tea, a matcha, all certified organic that we absolutely love and are so proud to share. But more importantly, every single package comes with conversation starters because we want you to reconnect with yourself, with your loved ones, call someone, tell them you love them. Cuppa? Mid-tour tea break? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. We are launching three new blends and giving away a three-night stay at the cabin. This is an opportunity for you to unplug and connect, and all you have to do is buy anything from the site for the next 72 hours. Speaking of anything from the site, those new three seasonal blends. Dish. 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 <laughs> We're so excited. We've been working on these for months, and we have perfected the best seasonal cozy blends. We have apple cinnamon, a delicious blend of organic apple, hibiscus, cinnamon, cardamom, clove, and star anise. Fruity and spicy, naturally caffeine free, perfect for any time of day. Pumpkin spice. A soothing blend of organic pumpkin, ginger, ashwagandha, and cardamom. And chocolate mint, which delicious, like a dessert, but healthy. It's the perfect balance of organic 
cocoa, cinnamon, peppermint, and rooibos. There is something for everyone, and they are limited edition, so they won't last long. Head to drinkhabit.com, and when you make a purchase in the next 72 hours, you are entered to win the cabin stay. Someone is coming here to stay at the cabin. We won't be here, by the way. Should we say well, that? we'll probably drive you. <laughs> we'll drive you here. You'll have access to a car. Oso says, can I come? You want to come to the cabin stay? You want Oso, you can have Oso yeah. too. But yeah, you I would can have him. That. <laughs> okay, honey. You like the spice one the best? You want me to make you a cup? Okay, hold on. Okay, back to the tour. This is our pantry, but it also acts as office supply storage. Amy and I don't have a dedicated office space, so we spend a lot of time at this dining room table working on our laptops. One of the key features that we recently added that has made this so much easier is this plug that lives underneath the kitchen table. We've got some gear storage here. This is the doggy treat section. Also knows this drawer. We really don't mind working here because all of the natural light from the wall of windows makes it a perfect space for work, eating. We both sit on this side of the table to enjoy the view every night. <laughs> Come on, we're going to the washroom. So right when you walk in this, this used to be the main door, yeah. but now we use that as the door. Yeah. So when, right when you walk in this old door, back door? <laughs> other door, I don't know. The other door. You've got washrooms on either side. So this is the ladies. Although I have snuck in there a few times. <laughs> you always put in there. And this is the men's slash laundry. This was an upgrade, was originally set up as just a hand washing. I never thought I'd be so happy to have my own laundry. <laughs> <laughs> this is usually set up for men because it's, I love it, a urinal. It's amazing. Okay. The boys, the fellas, they love it. Um, and then I even got this nightlight here. Cause I pee a lot at night. I used to hate that I pee a lot in the middle of the night, but now I look forward to it almost cause it's like just me time. I don't know, I should probably get my prostate checked. See that? That's well, very... Highly recommend that. And there is another little shower here. I haven't showered here in three years, but it's there in case you need it. Keep all the linens here. And then we got some toilet paper and Kleenex and stuff in the bottom. Come on, let's check out the ladies. We were really lucky that when we moved in here three years ago, the bathrooms had been newly renovated. So while we worked on the rest of the house, we could always have a shower and a clean space to clean, clean off. <laughs> Bidets on both toilets. The main distinguishing factor of this bathroom is that it has a full size bathtub. I spend so much time taking baths. I absolutely love it. While we're doing stairs, we might as well take you up these stairs to the loft. This needs work. This loft bedroom was such a no-brainer. We didn't really use it for anything other than a bedroom and to gain that extra privacy of a walled-in bedroom. Everyone has been raving about it. TripAdvisor's blowing up. <laughs> this is one of those rooms you would barely recognize. It had insulation coming out of the ceilings. The walls weren't finished. What else did we do? <laughs> Gosh, I feel like we worked forever, I don't know. We added this bench, this whole wall, with a door, and hooks, <laughs> and mirror, and nice little storage area. All right, come on into the cinema. This loft also had a bit of a creepy vibe. When we first moved in. When we first moved in. So we've cleaned it up quite a bit. We have uh, two queen beds, one twin. We've got one of the hottest blinds in the game. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably spring for some curtains over here, huh? Yeah, that's just a blanket that someone knitted for us. Thank you, whoever knitted that blanket. We use it a lot. I think it was a shawl, actually. It's Is that beautiful. the shawl? It's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. I love it. We carried the same carpet all the way through, and it just adds a really cozy spot to hang out. We've got rooms for all budgets. <laughs> this is probably the cheapest option. Uh, this is the main living room hammock. It's a little sketch getting in, but once you distribute your weight, it's pretty safe. Let's go, buddy. We gotta do the whole exterior. <laughs> you need five? Uh, five minutes is up, poop poop. Oh, that's the problem with this spot. This is so comfy and hard to get out. <laughs> The plans are to extend this screened in porch with a deck and out to there. The very first thing we added onto the cabin was this deck because we knew we wanted to live outside. 
This is our seating area. We clearly do not have a no dog on the furniture rule because, well, do you want to show that one too? Yeah, they, 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 so see, they it? see it. As you can see, this is an amazing place to sit out and enjoy. The view is stunning and we have a beautiful solo stove fire pit that we can move the coffee table out of the way, plop that in there and have a cozy night, make some s'mores and just enjoy the day even longer. Moving on over to another highlight. Get the backhoe in here, put the jacuzzi right there, boom. The first winter we lived here, Santa gifted us a hot tub. We have made such great use of it. This section of the deck is our outdoor kitchen. It includes our barbecue, a nice little island bench where you can sit and enjoy with the barbecuer. When we built the deck, we ran cold and hot water as well as the propane line. The showers indoors don't get a lot of use. We try and keep this one running as late as possible. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> Is that one for O's? There is nothing like showering in the woods. There's nothing like being naked in the woods. <laughs> it's true, fair Sorry, fair. neighbors. Eamon has built us a nine hole frolf course. Oh, wow. Because we're so sporty, we also have a basketball net. Excuse me. Oh! That's how we do. Can crushers for when you got that cold beer that you just won. It's a victory beer and <laughs> we have a pizza oven. It's honestly the best entertainment space. We've had so many amazing pizza pizzas. nights. Pizzas. It's pizzas, man. Yeah, it's just been amazing. We love Lots pizza. Uh, we added a water intake line. So there's a pump in our little boathouse. So we've got lake water, you know, so we can water the gardens. Sometimes we do this if we just don't feel like taking them for a walk. No, we don't. Come on, jump, 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 jump. And the lake line for watering has really come in handy with this summer's project. Actually, it's been like two years in the making this project. This entire area is pretty level. Our brand new, beautiful grass patch. <laughs> Which sounds silly to love so much, but my God, do I love this grass patch. Originally, this area was just woods with a big rock and it was completely unusable space. Because we have three acres of land, we really wanted a small section of it to be where our kids can play bocce ball and soccer and throw the baseball and just have a play area, so to speak. And the last time you saw this space, we only had sod from here to here and we've filled in the last section with grass seed and we've been growing it for the rest of the summer. I think it looks awesome. So last summer we got this urge to become homesteaders thinking we'll grow all our own food. Come on, <laughs> this summer we realized we're not homesteaders and we're not growing any food. <laughs> but welcome to our greenhouse anyways. Whoa, <gasps> look how good the tomatoes look. We almost have lemons. What are you talking about? We don't grow our own food. Look at us. Oh, look at this. Maybe we're just late, man. Look at, this. <gasps> look at the cucumbers. Whoa, look at this one. <gasps> Maybe what we've been doing wrong is we were paying too much attention. It's good. Is it good? It smells like a cucumber. It's really good. Wow. You just Turns gotta ignore home. it. You just got cucumbers in your pockets now? So the theory behind this greenhouse is that it will help extend the growing season. We were a little late to the year, which was maybe why everything is starting to bloom now in October. So maybe we just need to put a little more energy and understand how to grow your own food. But that's promising. That's a lot more promising than I thought. We just need to add a little bit of love. All right, greenhouse. Stay green. And with the rest of the land, we've kept it very natural. There are some walking paths throughout it that we can take Oso on a little mini burn, either with our ATV or our feet. You can guess which one of us does. We'll show which. you the toys in a bit. <laughs> Stay tuned. Here we've got the wood storage. We try and keep it an extra season, so we've got dried, and then more fresh stuff, it's all pretty dry now. And then over here, 
my man cave workshop place where I go to relax. If you are ever looking for Eamon, he is right here. This was also a falling over, decrepit, sad looking building. So we fixed it up, fixed the foundation, redid the siding, added new roof and a lean to. Back. Stay back, haters. Stay back. Don't leave that comment. So we keep a couple toys under here. We've got the side by side with the cage in case the big fellow wants to roll. Also, come, come on, hop. Yep, hop. Good boy. Wow. We've got the ACV and dirt bike. These are both electric, a lot of fun. Uh, it's a company called Daymac. It's not a very big workshop. I've got dreams for something else, but it's highly functional. My setup when we have a project is I've got a tool bag with basically all the little goodies and then I've got the crate. So based on the job I need, I go around and collect. Okay, we'll need a Sawzall, the angle grinder. We need a can of spray paint, we need pads, and we need vibes. I love that our road ends on our property, so there's a ton of privacy back here. And this is where we keep the whips. Got the Bronco, we got the outhouse. So when we first moved here and saw that there was an outhouse, we were like, we'll never use that, blah, blah, blah. We've had so many power outages when we can't use our toilets that this has actually come in handy. The craziest part about the outhouse is it's a double toilet, so you can sit next to your partner. Ooh la la. It's <laughs> nice. Back here, we've got a little cleared area for trailer storage. Keep the sea dews on there in the winter. I feel wrong showing them this, but this is our Quebec garage. Eamon moved out my tiny little Nissan, that's my pride and joy. Wow, wow, wow. To be able to move in his. This is my baby. She's a real rig. We got the. Uh... <laughs> you just become more country when you sit on her. Electric bikes. Love we them. Use these all the time. And this is where the dream shop would go. Stay tuned for the cabin tour in two more years. We'll probably <laughs> have that run. I want like a 40 by 60 wow. heated concrete pad. Wow. Loft upstairs for dance parties. Wow. Naked boys everywhere. All right. This is the compost bin. Not quite compost. No, the bottom layer is yeah, all. The bottom would be this really is good. Just new. You know, now that we do have green thumbs, it might be worth churning that and then using it for the greenhouse next year. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> oh, grow some more cucumbers. Hello? Oh. <laughs> While we're on the side of the house, this is where we keep our utilities. So we've got the AC unit, backup generator. And I think these are 400 pound propane tanks. There's four of them. And the idea is in the winters, there's some weeks where you can't get in. So they give you a lot of extra propane just to make sure you don't run out. Oh, and that's how you get to the basement suite would just be that door there. So we have two ways to access the water. The first one is down towards the beach and boathouse. This boat shed was always here and was our latest project. We actually did all new siding, roofing, changed the way the doors opened. We'll probably finish the interior in the spring. These are some of the first toys we bought growing up as a kid. My big dream was to have a sea -Doo, and it doesn't get old, let me tell you. We have a lot of fun on these. <laughs> Good boy! Welcome to our main dock. Those 62 stairs you just saw us come down were all built by yours truly. And this dock didn't exist either, so there was actually no real great access to this deep swimmable part of the lake. We spend all summer here, just hanging out, going for swims, and our <laughs> pontoon boat is always parked right here for the next adventure. And wouldn't it be amazing to get married? right here. Comment below if you can see Eamon and I getting married here, him showing up on his slalom ski in his little tuxedo and me meeting him down here. Oh, that'd be, cool. that'd be amazing. It's happening. Oh. Stay tuned, subscribe, it's happening soon. It's amazing to see how much you can get done in three years and we'll see you in another three. <laughs> Thanks for touring today, guys. See you on the other side. See you Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> 
Who says that? See you, see you Our new tagline. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. Okay, see you on the other side. Go call someone you love and tell them you love them. Hi, it's your papa speaking. Just wanted you to know how much I love you. So oh, excited to meet jealous. you soon. <laughs> love you, baby girl. We just finished filming, but it's cucumbers everywhere. Half eaten cucumbers. Ah, <sighs> see you Sunday. Don't forget that for the next 72 hours, any order placed on Habit is entering you for a chance to win a stay here at the cabin. Wow. <laughs> wow. Hopefully we don't regret this. <laughs>